health a bit. Um, so many people are plagued by these ideas that eating healthy is such a bad thing. You know, you don't want to eat things that don't taste good. The reason why things don't taste good is because your palate is so jaded by the, the sugars and the things that are in these foods that are meant to make you addicted to it. Like sugar in general is the number one addiction drug in the world. And of course, people load sugar into things so it tastes delicious. I mean, I love sugar too. I have a huge sugar problem. But the problem is, is that we don't want to eat things because there's no sugar in it. And I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, well, you need to eat only vegetables and all that stuff. But the reality is, is that if you are conscious of what you are putting in your body, the longevity of your life is going to be that much greater. And now why am I even on this kick? Because the only time we seem to want to pay attention to what we're eating is when it's already too late, when we have disease, when we have our, our infections in our body. And by that time, it, it's already too late. You know, there's like, like diabetes. Diabetes is a huge problem, but a lot of diabetics could have prevented a lot of that if they had just paid attention to their diet way before the diagnosis happened. You know, like we don't, we, don't, we we know that we shouldn't eat these things. We know we shouldn't eat fried chicken at two o'clock in the morning. You know, like, but it's delicious and we want it. Well, then you don't really care about what's gonna come later. But the problem is that it's not that they don't care. And I, that's a little insensitive to say that. But in the long run, it's kind of the real thing. People don't care because it's not affecting them at that moment. And we need to take care of our body the same way we take care of our home, the same way we take care of our car. And people just don't do that. And to be honest, it's fucking insanity because it's created by the society that we live in. It's, we're not taught in school how to eat. We're not taught in school how to take care of our bodies. We're not taught any of that stuff. We're taught about things that we may or may not use later in life. Uh, economics, yeah, of course you need that stuff. You have math classes, you have history classes, you have uh, uh, art classes, all these different things, but there's nothing in there that teaches us how to actually be healthy. And which is funny because later in life, we just don't even know how. So when we have to get healthy and we have to eat, eat properly, we have zero idea of what it takes to be healthy. Uh, I work with nutritionists, I work with athletes, I work with just normal people, and it's crazy what people think eating healthy is. They think that maybe just eating one donut instead of 19 donuts is healthy. Well, on the macro scale, yeah, I guess that, that could mean it's healthier, but you're still not putting anything of nutrition into your body. and long term that one donut is gonna add up and add up and add up and I'm not saying you can't eat donuts like don't get me wrong I, I love me a fucking donut but I also fill my day with proper foods I'm not doing the whole I have to eat this much carbs this much protein this much fat that is too much work and I understand that just be conscious of what you're doing like when you're at dinner have water before before you guys eat you know like don't have soda with every meal it's like it's really simple things that I've realized over time that maybe I'm jaded and the people because I'm an athlete think it's simple but it's it really is just have common sense before you put it in your mouth and Everything around you is going to be that much better. You're going to be happier. You're going to sleep better. You're going to want to exercise. It all has direct relationships to you. You feeling better. It releases more chemicals. Um, the dopamine in your body starts uh, elevating. And you just are going to make better decisions. You're going to have more energy. You're going to enjoy life more just by the, the choices that you're making. And man, it's, it's heartbreaking when I see people in general that are overweight, that are obese, just have no idea what to do. And it is so hard to make the adjustments to 
start getting healthy when you've spent so long in an unhealthy habit lifestyle to get on track to create a healthy lifestyle. And even for me, I know I don't make all the best decisions making because I'm human. We all we all do things uh, that we want to do. But if you create a lifestyle that becomes sustainable for you to be active, enjoy cheap food when you want to enjoy cheap food, but you spend the majority of your time eating healthy because eventually once you get past the idea of like you want all these things, the healthy food actually becomes tastier and that's the stuff that you want to crave. When I was younger, I never wanted vegetables. I never wanted um, chicken, like just 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 grilled chicken. Um, it was fast food. Uh, you know, you love fast food. It's quick and it's easy. But we have no comprehension of what that's doing to our insides. And I'm not I'm not the person that's gonna sit here and, and rant to you about the the things that go into those products. That's not that's not my place. But what I'm trying to get out of this whole talk is literally just make a decision a day to make yourself healthier in one way or another. Because if you do the decision today, Tomorrow you do the decision, the next day you do the decision, and all of a sudden you're realizing that your whole life is becoming a change for a positive because you changed one day about one thing about your diet, and then the next thing you realize, you've been eating a certain way for so long, you can't even go backwards into eating the way that you used to. Like even for me, I know that I love ice cream. I love ice cream, I love pizza, I love burgers. But it's been so long since I've had that in my ongoing diet. When I have it now, the idea of it is so incredible. But as soon as I eat it, when it's done, I am automatically feel sick. And that's because my body is just not used to having that heavy stuff. And then I'm like, oh, that's why I don't eat it. And it's really frightening to think that people can eat that kind of stuff on a daily basis and they're their body just accepts it. It's like, oh, this is how I feel normally. It's actually normal to feel like shit. And I just, I, I can't do it anymore. And I hope that this talk from me might spark something in anybody else just to get an idea of like, you know what? I've been meaning to do that and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a step. You can't expect any of this shit to happen overnight to be completely changed, but you can start the process. And that's really where I talk about all the time is being obsessed with the process. Don't, don't worry about the result. You wanna lose weight, don't worry about the result. You gotta, you gotta fixate on the process, and the process will get you there. If, if you're not in it for a, for a sprint, and you need the immediate results, be in it for the long run. Make it a marathon. One foot in front of the other, and I promise, that success is gonna find you on the other side as long as you stay diligent. Just keep on it, keep on it, keep on it, and you're gonna find your way. But it's gotta start with you and you gotta make the decision now. Don't wait, start now, go do it.